What's up guys, it's AJ Alboro and one thing I'm gonna tell you is that uh, I upload videos every day and also I I know that uh, you all know this like why do I play Dream Theater songs on the bass and of course uh, this is the question that is asked like why do I like to play Dream Theater songs or why i like john mayung and i do not even use speak on the bass and of course i would just like to say that uh, dream theater is was my favorite band after the other metal bands since of course dream theater is a progressive metal band uh, and of course uh, one of my greatest influence on the bass is john mayung and also, uh, one thing I like about Dream Theater is that it they have uh, technical skills and of course, uh, not only one Dream Theater song, but of course I can play some and many of them. And uh, one of the hardest songs that I ever played on Dream Theater, the Dream Theater songs are... Uh, Dance of Eternity, uh, A Change of Season, uh, Breaking All Illusions, and Dark Eternal Night. Those are one of the hardest songs that I ever played. Uh, Metropolis also has a hard part. Uh, and one thing about Dream Theater is that uh, they were like uh, from. They were also students from uh, Berkeley College of Music. Including uh, Karel Honasan is also a student of Berkeley College Music. And of course, Dream Theater. Uh, one thing about Dream Theater is that they have a lot of techniques. They have a lot of uh, like figures or some kind of uh, theory that is very familiar but you know, one thing I like about John Mayang is that uh, his three fingering on the bass, and of course, uh, Dream Theater is one of my favorites. And also, not only but one thing about Mike Portnoy is that he is not only a metal drummer, but he can also play other songs too, like jazz, uh, funk, and any of it on the drums. Jordan Rudess can also play a uh, classical music on piano and like opera like dream theater is also like an opera uh, and also uh, one thing about John Petrucci is that he plays like Steve Vai, Young Ingwie Malmsteen and of course he does a lot of shred and of course he has many styles on but also one thing about dream theater is that they play progressive rock progressive metal and they even covered one of them even covered uh rush songs uh sometimes uh ever there's they know a lot of dynamics on dream theater and one thing about dream theater is that uh they they give a lot of information and ideas of course uh, speed metal glam metal are also one of their influences but of course uh, progressive metal is their main genre one thing about John Mayung is that he is almost as the same as Victor Wooten uh, Billy Sheehan uh, Jaco Pastorius and Jedi Lee that's what I like about John Mayang. But you know, one thing about the Dream Theater song is that uh, sometimes I cannot include it in this kind of uh, video because I'm gonna get copyright claim. And of course, I'm just gonna show you a lot of pictures that were like from Dream Theater. And those are the only thing that I can show you. Of course, uh, Dream Theater started at 1985, but also I think they they are jamming in uh, quarantine also. 
but for me i still don't have a bass amplifier i am planning to buy one maybe next week or but of course my my money is almost full and of course i am planning to all i always practice my bass every day including dream theater songs dirty loops snarky puppy octavision and tesseract and one of one thing you know about me guys is that my main favorite three genres are progressive metal christian rock then jazz fusion those are the kinds and okay guys that's it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please drop a like subscribe to my channel if you are new share this video to your friends follow me on instagram and twitter and that's it peace out